Today we are talking about twin flame telepathy. So what it is, how it works, and how you know your twin flame is telepathically communicating with you, and then how to develop this ability. This video is sponsored by Keen. Get your first twin flame reading for only $199 through our special link in the description. I'm Julia, the other half of Twin Flame Guides. We are Twin Flames in Union, helping other Twin Flames to Union, so make sure to subscribe. So first of all, what is Twin Flame Telepathy? Twin Flame Telepathy is the mental communication between you and your twin. And this happens even before you meet for the first time, and it actually helps you meet each other. Twin Flame Telepathy can take many different forms. You could hear their thoughts, it could uh, even be astral projection, or astral sex. I have a friend who has this with her twin flame who she hasn't met in the physical yet. Me and Steph, my twin flame, we actually had a funny telepathy thing yesterday. So we went to the beach yesterday because it's a heat wave in the UK now, now. So I was sitting there on the beach, Steph had his arms around me, his head to my head, and I was just thinking, I really want some pizza. I was just visualizing this pizza, eating every slice. And then I hear Steph from nowhere saying, I really want pizza. And bear in mind, there's no pizza places around and Steph doesn't even like pizza that much. Shocking. <laughs> so when I told him that that is literally what I was thinking, he told me, actually, in that moment, I didn't even want pizza. It was like that thought came into my head and it wasn't even my own. So that's an example of twin flame telepathy. <laughs> Here are six other ways that twin flame telepathy can manifest. The first one is intuition. So this could be an urge that you're feeling, for example, that you should communicate to your twin, but that is actually uh, your partner, your twin, who was thinking that, and now that got planted into your subconscious, and then you reach out to them. The second one is shared feelings. So maybe you feel excitement, even though you're not excited yourself, and this could be because of your twin flame was feeling very excited at the moment. And this form of uh, telepathy is mostly common in the separation stage, because it becomes more and more clear uh, when you're not physically together. The third form of telepathy is dream sharing. Yes, telepathy can occur in dreams, and this is because there's less ego interference when you dream, so there's much more likely to come through messages. So we really recommend recommend keeping a dream journal and every time you wake up write down what you dreamt because there's often hidden meanings there and messages and it can also be uh, around your twin flame messages that you need to hear about them to get closer to union the fourth type of telepathy is astral projection so this is of course a very advanced technique not many twin flames can do this but it is possible where you and your twin go and explore other non-physical worlds together so how awesome is that the fifth type of telepathy is communication. So eventually you can get to a point where you don't have to speak much to your twin flame. Uh, you can mentally communicate with each other. And in the separation stage, it can even happen through other people. So other, so their messages can be delivered through other people. So you, you can have this random encounter with a person and they just start saying things out of nowhere. <laughs> like you don't even know them, but it hits right to your heart and you feel this is a message for you. The sixth type of twin flame communication is same time contact. Has it ever happened when you feel like, okay, now I'm gonna call my twin flame and then you see they had just called you or you're gonna message them and they just messaged you. And this is because your souls were calling each other. So how can you develop your telepathy with your twin flame? The first step is awareness. Realize that you are already communicating telepathically with your twin flame, whether you recognize it or not. So know that it's possible because otherwise the other steps will just not work as well. Next step is to look inward. Focus on your spiritual development and learning to love yourself. Otherwise the twin twin journey can be very overwhelming and it will be harder to develop this um, telepathy. Next step is to raise your vibrations because this will help you to become more sensitive to the messages that come through. To raise your vibrations you of course need to have a healthy vibrant diet with lots of live foods get exercise in, grounding, the usual stuff. But then meditation is super important as well, daily meditation. This will really help you to get those impressions, images, 
uh, pick up on those messages. Then the next step is to stay connected. Communicate with your twin flame if you are in union or if you have communication with each other. If not, then just pretend like you're talking to them, like they were there in the room with you. And your twin flame will actually pick up on this when you keep talking to them throughout the day. And this will help you really fine tune those telepathy skills. I'd love to hear your thoughts about telepathy in the comments. Love you so much and have a beautiful day.